multiplied by a near multiple of 10. We can probably work out a sum like 7 times 50 by asking ourselves what 7 times 5 is. Um, well, we might want to just quickly check 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 5 is going to be half of that with half one of the numbers we're multiplying by. And so that's 35. That's 35. Um, so 7 times 50. We've increased one of the numbers we're multiplying by by 10. 7 times 5 is 35. Um, so we can move the numbers into the next column along. So that's going to be 350. 7 times 50 is 350. A near multiple of 10 could be 51. Um, 5 times 10 is 50, plus 1 to make it a near multiple is 51. 7 times 51. We can break this down into um, it being the same as 7 times 50 plus 7 times 1. 7 times 50, 350. 7 times 1 is 7. 350, you need to add these together. 350 plus 7. Um, 0 plus 7 is 7. 5, the zeros here, though you can't see them in the tens column and the units column. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 0 is 3. So 7 times 51 is 357. Sometimes our near multiple will be slightly less than the exact multiple. So if we want to do 8 times 49, First of all, we'd need to work out, uh, using this method, 8 times 5. We'll do a bit of working out over here. 8 times 10 is 80. Uh, 8 times 5, we've halved the 10, so we halve our answer, is 40. So 8 times 5 is 40. Um, 8 times 50, we move our 10s into the 100s, our units into the 10s, and we bring the 0 that we can't see here that's in the 10th column into the units column, then we, we've got 400. 8 times 50 is 400. Um, 49 is one less than 50, so we've got one lot of 8 we need to reduce our answer by. It's a bit like a 6, we'll change it to 0 there. So 8 times 1 is 8. Um, 8 times 50, we've already said, is 400. So we reduce our 400 by 8. eight um, 0 minus 8 we can't do, so we need to borrow from another column. We can't borrow from the tens column yet because there's um, nothing to borrow from there. If we borrow from our hundreds column, that becomes 10, and now we can borrow from it, that becomes 9. We've got zeros in here, and that becomes 10. So 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 0 is 9. 3 minus 0 is 3, 392. So then we can say 8 times 49 is 392. And we've used our knowledge of times tables and also our um, knowledge of place value to work out how to multiply by a near multiple of 10.